In 1999, two colonels of China's People's Liberation Army published the book Unrestricted Warfare, which explains how the United States could be defeated in a military confrontation by using a combination of unconventional warfare methods. Unrestricted Warfare is fought on an omnipresent battlefield and transcends the boundaries of conventional military tactics. Every means necessary to achieve victory is considered, including financial, information, and guerrilla warfare techniques. Currently, another form of unrestricted warfare, that is, weaponized migration, can be seen at the southern border. Month after month, thousands of military-aged Chinese nationals are crossing into the United States illegally. As you will soon see, some of these illegal aliens served in the Chinese armed forces, others are conducting weapons training inside the United States, and all have followed the same blueprint for infiltrating America. Mockraker.com has obtained a never-before-published document, circulated among Chinese illegal aliens, which offers a clear blueprint on how to navigate to the United States illegally, and how to exploit the asylum system, achieve refugee status, and become embedded in America. This investigation by Mockraker.com exposes how the Chinese are invading the United States without firing a single shot. Our story first starts with the Chinese TikTok app known as Douyin. A brief search reveals hundreds of videos featuring Chinese heading to the United States illegally. Consider this video, an animated map which details the route to the United States. This information is out in the open for anyone in China to find. Our informer, whom we'll refer to as Mr. X, traveled the same path to reach America he told us that his family was inspired to travel to America after discovering some of these videos in China. We met Mr. X while inside the Darien Gap, the strip of land connecting North and South America where most of the Chinese illegals come through. The unpublished document provided to us by Mr. X describes the route from Quito, Ecuador to the United States border in painstaking detail. Key pieces of information are included to facilitate the illegal journey, such as where to purchase fake permits in Mexico, how much to pay smugglers, how to avoid detection by immigration authorities, and more. The document, titled Ivy Global Travel Guide, appears to have been written by a woman named Ivy, and included WeChat contacts for both Ivy and Ivy's assistant. We reached out to Ivy and the assistant directly. Ivy was able to provide some immigration information, but denied any knowledge of the document. Ivy's alleged assistant said that he lived in China and had no idea who Ivy was. We were subsequently blocked by both Ivy and the supposed assistant. Although we cannot confirm who wrote the document, it is clear that whoever did was a well-versed expert on the matter. The full document which can be found on muckraker.com, goes on for over a hundred pages explaining the U.S. asylum system and how to exploit it. We will get to that in a moment. From 2021 until the creation of this video in July of 2023, over 80,000 illegals from China have entered the United States. One of these 80,000 people is Chen Xiaotian. According to Radio Free Asia, Chen flew from China to Turkey to Quito, Ecuador, where he then joined other Chinese nationals headed to the United States via the route through the Darien Gap. On June 16, 2023, Chen posted a tweet of himself crossing the U.S. border. Just five days later, on June 21st, Chen posted a video of himself conducting weapons training in the desert. Then there is Ziasin Li, who also flew from China to Ecuador, then marched to the United States. According to VOA News, Mr. Lee crossed into the United States in February 2023 and reached Albany, New York a week later. Shockingly, it appears as if Mr. Lee served in the Chinese armed forces. In this photo, Mr. Lee can be seen wearing a Type 07 uniform, a military uniform worn by both the People's Liberation Army and the People's Armed Police Force, a Chinese paramilitary organization. Mr. Lee who appears to go by the alias Pipaloo, links the website yemen101.com in his Twitter bio. 
Yemen 101 is a website which provides critical intel for other Chinese illegal aliens who are heading to or have reached the United States. The intel published on Yemen 101 includes Popular illegal immigration routes How to prepare for the trek across the Darien Gap How to get a U.S. driver's license How to gain asylum in the U.S. And more. Finally, there is Mr. X, who crossed into the United States in April 2023. He warned us that the Communist Chinese police are in America and will kidnap those who speak out against the CCP. Yeah, because, you know, I said something against the CCP, right? So they will find me and kidnap me. You know, this information uh, I get from my, from my friend. We were in McCullen, you know, we, 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 did, we were detained by the U.S. officers together. And uh, some, sometimes we go outside and we can chat. You know, he, he, one day he told me that you cannot say anything against the CCP. If you do that, you know, some, someday the Chinese from the uh, station, you know, police station in the U.S., we, they will find you and kidnap you. Usually, they will hide themselves, you know, knock the door and say, open the door, we are FBI. But when you open the door, wow, it's Chinese police, not FBI. And, they, and the first thing is they will warn you, if you continue to say something against the CCP, you're going to be over. The fears of Mr. X are not unwarranted. Even the mainstream media acknowledges that the CCP runs overseas police stations across the globe and China loyalists are living throughout America. Consider this man, who claims to be from Hunan province and is currently living in Los Angeles. In this video, he can be seen saluting the so-called motherland. In the event of a conflict between the United States and China, which side do you believe he would support? This question becomes all the more important when we consider that this man has been weapons training in America. Although we are not sure how or when this individual entered the country, plenty of others with a similar allegiance have undoubtedly penetrated America's porous southern border and joined the ranks of Chinese loyalist networks. Once inside the United States, individuals attempt to gain political asylum in order to avoid repatriation to China. Although there are some legitimate asylum seekers fleeing persecution, there is an ongoing racket of Chinese so-called refugees working with Chinese lawyers to fabricate fictitious asylum claims. Consider this man, who offers immigration consultation services for $50. In this Twitter post, he explains how to apply for political asylum even if you have no experience with political persecution in China, stating, Go out and hold a sign. Participate in pro-democracy organizations. Give them money. And keep transaction records. Find a witness and ask him to be willing to prove that you are a pro-democracy activist. Or swear at the Communist Party on Twitter. The document revealed in this video goes into technical detail about how to present oneself during an immigration interview. Details are included, such as what to wear, what facial expressions to make, whether or not to cry, and more. By now it should be clear that the U.S. border could easily be penetrated by foreign agents. Once in the United States, an agent could disguise as an asylum seeker and take advantage of the U.S. legal framework. In 2019, Xinhua News Agency declared that China was engaged in a, quote, people's war with the United States. More recently, in May 2023, the Chinese ambassador to the United States wrote two open letters which stated, quote, blood is thicker than water, and urged Chinese students studying abroad to serve the motherland. Furthermore, China has a history of utilizing unconventional warfare techniques. Mao wrote an entire book called On Guerrilla Warfare, while the book Unrestricted Warfare, endorsed by the People's Liberation Army, suggest the use of urban guerrilla warfare as a method to engage the United States without a direct military confrontation. China is now positioned to attack America from within. CCP loyalists are scattered across the country, and more are on the way. 
The longer America allows this trend to continue, the more inevitable will be its defeat to China.